So I do believe that the president has honored his commitment when he said that he was committed to taking care of this country's veterans, and this is a budget that will allow us to do that. I see that some of the, the what it's earmarked for, more nurses, more doctors, um, I, I don't know how I would split it up, and maybe you, you can tell us. Is that what's needed, or is it uh, IT? Is it, is it, there's still too much uh, things actually done on paper that's not, uh, you know, not done um, effectively to, to get the maximum amount out of the, out of the system? What, what needs to be done, in your view? Well, I think there are three broad categories that this budget allows us to take care of. First is it allows us to bring in the type of health care professionals that we need to make sure that we are caring for veterans in the way that they need it. And a large part of that, frankly, are mental health professionals and health care professionals in parts of the country that we've had trouble recruiting in. The second is to make sure that veterans have more choice and to be able to go into the community and get care from the private sector when the VA is not able to provide the services they need. And third is the general category of modernization of our system. We do need the most effective tools so that our staff can take the very best care of our veterans that they deserve. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.